Kirsten Edwards. I'm co-author of Predictive HR Analytics, Mastering the HR Metric, and I'm also Head of Analytics at Empathics. Whichever area of HR analytics you are focusing on, so whether it be diversity analytics, recruitment analytics, performance management, or focusing on retention strategies, a really important concept to understand is shared variance. As the conversation moves on from flat descriptive reports to the more predictive reports and the, the analysis to really help us understand why things are occurring, we need to understand the relationships and the patterns and the trends of behaviour. And if we understand, to keep it simple, so the relationship between two variables, that can make a big difference. So if we think about two variables that we're really, really interested in how they interact with each other, say one might be competency ratings from an interview, and another one might be performance after 12 months. And we might, for, for example, want to understand, well, if, if one increases, does the other one increase as well, proportionally? Or if one decreases, does the other increase? Or are they completely higgledy-piggledy in the air, have nothing to do with each other? Now, if we square that value, square the correlation, then we can start to get a really interesting value, which is the shared variance. And the shared variance gives us an indicator of how much variance these two variables share. So the variance really gives us a good indicator of how much the change in one can account for the change in the other. So say if we've got a particular competence, say it's a technical competence from the assessment centre, and this might actually represent the performance after 12 months. Okay, now if they have absolutely nothing to do with each other, these would be completely separate. But if, for example, we have an 11% shared variance, it might look a little bit like this. Or if the, if the competency rating has a huge, a huge amount to do with their, competence, oh, sorry, their performance after 12 months, then it might look a little bit more like this. Okay, and a lot of things that we do in predictive analytics come down to understanding this shared variance that we hold between two variables. So that was just a really simple example, but this might actually represent a whole model. So it could represent the competency assessments, but it might also include in that model gender, age, and the department to which somebody is joining. So all of the things that we really hold as important in our model, with this still representing our output variable, which is the performance after 12 months. So depending on the R squared of the model in our regression analysis, this might actually be a lot bigger if we have a good model. So it's important to remember that it's not that one causes the other, it's the degree of shared variance or overlap that they have. So we can actually use that or the terminology we can use is that one predicts the other.